All right, ladies, welcome to workout three of week six of your limited equipment take home program. Hope everyone's having a great week. I'm gonna run through this thing quick so we can go ahead and start getting after it. All right, first thing we have is our warm up. Our warm up today, again, very similar to the warm up we've done in the past. All right, but now I added some shuffle splits. All right, near the middle of that warm up, that shuffle splits. Remember, I'm pop, 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 popping the ground. Make sure I'm good and warm. All right, I go through it thoroughly. All right, because today we got our jumps and we got our speed training. So you got to make sure that your body's ready to go. For our plyometrics and jump training today, we have a couple of new exercises, so make sure you pay attention. First exercise, going to be a one step vertical. What does that look like? All right, my left leg is planted in the ground. All right, I'm going to take one step with my right leg. I'm loading up. As soon as that foot hits the ground, I'm jumping as high as I can. Then I'll go and I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, that's one set. All right, so one set is gonna be one jump on each side. I have three sets for that exercise. What it's paired up with is my low drop jump plus three hurdle hops. So we just added one hurdle hop, all right? I'm dropping off of a low surface, punch the ground, punch the ground, punch the ground, land athletic. So it's three total jumps per repetition. Three repetitions make up a set. So three jumps by three repetitions it's gonna be nine jumps per set. I have three sets of that exercise. All right, when I get down to B1 and B2, B1 is an alternating 90 degree jump. So I'm gonna jump, rotate 90 degrees in the air, hit the ground, jump back, rotate 90 degrees back. I'm gonna do it one more time, that's a set. All right, I'm doing these repetitively. So it just looks like this. Pop, 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 pop. That's one set right there. What I'm pairing it up with is a single leg vertical jump to a single leg land. All right, I want these to be one repetition at a time. All right, two repetitions each leg is going to be a set. So I'm gonna look just like this. I have my right leg, jump it up as high as I can. Trying to land athletic on that right leg. I'll do it again. Good, now I'll go to the left leg, do two repetitions. These are maximal effort, maximal output. All right, work as hard as you can to land out on balance and land athletically. You start to lose your balance in a landing, just find an athletic position, hold it for a second at the end. All right, find what that feels like. Your last jumps for the day are gonna be our approach jumps. You have 10 approach jumps off of two legs. Make sure you're taking plenty of rest, getting really high outputs. For our speed and change of direction today. All right, I've got two separate exercises. The first one, if you can, find a small hill, just like we've been doing, all right? If you don't have a small hill, that's okay. Flat surface works just fine. All right, it's gonna be a static mountain climber sprint. All right, going 20 yards. So what that looks like, getting up into that top of push-up position, bringing one leg up, and now I'm sprinting out 20 yards. Once you find that position, all right, I'm taking off, going 20 yards as fast as I can. All right, for that exercise, I have one set of two each. All right, so that's basically one set of four repetitions. Alternate which leg goes up in that mountain climber start. The next exercise, the next exercise is meant to be done on flat ground. All right, it's a five yard shuffle to a turn and sprint 25 yards. All right, this is two sets of one each way. So again, just four total reps, what that looks like. I'm gonna shuffle five yards, then I'm gonna turn and sprint 25 yards. All right, again, Plenty of rest between these exercises. The whole point is a very high output. If somebody had a clock on you, I want you to try and beat that time every single repetition. For our resistance training today, ladies, it's that 030 tempo again. All right, right on the exercise, it tells you where to pause. So for our front squat, I have three sets of eight. I'm pausing three seconds in the bottom. All right, for our stagger stance RDL, three sets of six, pausing three seconds in the bottom. All right, remember that front squat, try and get those elbows up. All right, get down nice and deep, stay tight in that pause. One, two, three, up. Good, I got my three sets of eight. That stagger RDL, I'm pausing in the bottom as well. All right, so I'm going down to the bottom, feel that stretch, that hamstring, pause, two, three, squeeze it back up. All right, that's A1, A2, B1, B2. All right, step down single leg glute bridge all right so what that looks like on the step down i'm going to try something that i would normally do my step up to i'm going to go down under control and just before just before i put my foot on the ground i want you to try and pause for three seconds 
If you need to use something with your upper body, some sort of, some sort of broomstick or PVC to balance yourself, that's okay. But I want you to try and challenge yourself, try and find a good position where you're pausing without that bottom foot going all the way down to the ground, okay? Single leg glute bridge, you're pausing at the top for three seconds, all right? Three sets of eight there. Then go, moving on to our C series, all right, I have my single leg glute bridge going for 20 each. All right, that should burn up the glutes a little bit. My bent knee calf raise going for two sets of 30. Isometrics, I have that push-up iso in the middle position, holding for 150 total seconds, all right, in the least amount of sets possible. All right, now I have my prone Y raise. Again, 150 seconds, that's two and a half minutes in the least number of sets possible. As always, you have your optional stretch at the bottom. It can be done at the end of the workout or the following day, whenever you have some free time, especially if you're feeling tight, ladies, make sure you're taking care of your bodies. Have a great day, get after it today. All right, finish the week strong.